and we're back. So this time I want to talk to you about a process called deep listening. And what that means is it, it really is just about being present, right? So we, and we're so, oh my God, I, I have to tell you the first time I taught this was like 1997, 98. And it is so much harder today to get this concept across to people because so many people are so unconscious when they are in presence with others because we're in our phones, right? The, the smartphone has just sucked our attention. And so the first thing I'm going to say to you is that if you want to do this practice, you need to put your phone out of reach because your phone is gonna drag your attention away and it is really, really easy to get sucked into it, okay? So, next thing is the practice of deep listening is about bringing yourself fully into presence. And so what that means is that you are not, I repeat, you are not thinking about what you're going to say next. In fact, you're not thinking about what you're gonna say at all. You are simply taking in everything the other person is saying and trying to get every morsel of meaning out of that. That means you are watching their body language, you are listening to their tonality, you are paying attention to the words that they use, you are noticing if they are repeating themselves or using certain words over and over again, you are paying attention to the details and you're noticing if there are themes or patterns along the way, right? So coaches do this, for work, right? So if you're a coach and you're watching this, this practice will make you a better coach because if the better you are as a listener, the better you're going to be as a coach. And so what you're doing here is you're listening and then you're also tapping into the energy and you're, you're waiting to see if there's a push or a pull or a, an avoidance or, you know, something going on in that genre because Inevitably, when people get close to something that is really sensitive for them, they'll either push to get it out of them, you know, and, and be like, oh, right? Or they'll go, oh, but, and over here, la, 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 la. They, they, they talk themselves into the thing they were gonna share and then they go, oh, maybe not. And they hair off in another direction, right? And so you can find these things. If you don't get the energetic, you can find them by listening to the repeated words. You can find them by paying attention to the themes of what they're saying. Because everybody tells you the truth of who they are, even if they don't know that they're doing it. And so if you're paying attention, if you are listening at a very deep level, then that will become evident to you in very short order as to exactly what it is that they're saying. So the assignment is really about presence and that means you're not thinking about what you're doing next you're not thinking about where you've been you're not worried about whether or not the person likes you you're not worried about what you're going to have for lunch you are just here holding space for that person and i do want to address that term holding space because uh, it gets used a lot but it doesn't get defined very often so when I say holding space for someone, you are literally having an emptiness of space in between you and that person, meaning nothing else is in that space. You are not contemplating anything else. You are not thinking of anyone else. You are not feeling anything else. You are simply present and aware and, and in attention to the other person. And that is what holding space means. It doesn't mean setting up an energetic container. It doesn't mean any of that. It is simply holding a welcoming space of full attention and presence for another person. And that is the foundation of deep listening. And we do deep listening so that we can get to know each other better. We do it because uh, other people deserve our full attention. We do it because we love them and we want to be present for them. We do it because we want to find a greater sense of connection and, and a deeper sense of intimacy. All of these things are going to be true if you practice deep listening. And that's your tip for today. We'll see you next time.